the negative voltage region. What that tells you is during this pulse renormalization, there is actually a fusion of negative photon pulling in. And if you calculate the distance between this and this, the average is more negative photons in this region throughout the pulse sequence. So what that tells you, ladies and gentlemen, is that this is a Nobel Prize winning device. The arc reactor is real and it induces more negative photons than it does positive photons. And so this one is a 3.228 keV rise time up to here, but then the drop, we don't really know what the drop is. We can go to next, but it, this computer can only calculate positive photons. And the thing about it is we're actually creating positive and, positive and negative photons with this reactor, which means this is gravity. It's pretty amazing.